Welcome back guys to another episode of Tough Garage. What we're going to be working on today in this episode is restoring these seat frames which are a little bit... Here you go. So these seat frames have seen better days, they've gone through a couple of uh, fast and furious gear changes, you know how it goes. Anyway, this is the passenger side, the driver's side is split through the frame and they've put a heap of really weird sort of braces and more than them on to get it to work. In a fixed position though, we need to recline and work as per normal, so we're going to try and restore the frame and um, see how we go doing that. Let's get cracking. Here's the backrest and here is the extra brace that they've put in. You can see they've put a bolt through it, it goes back to there, there's a couple of bolts that go here and they're not meant to be there as far as I understand. Now you can see on the other side that's how it's meant to be. This has got all sorts of bracing where it's torn. So this is the good one, this is the passenger side and you can see there's no bolts, there's no sort of extra bracing. This is, this is the way it is, just with this round bar and these, um, you know, pressed pieces of sheet metal that create the base of it, I guess. So I'm just going to keep that there so I can compare because I've never done this before. It's just a matter of um, trying to get things to look original and see where the cracks and splits are in these pieces, which I'm guessing is what's happened, is just through there and try and weld them up as best I can and get that, um, you know, functioning as it should. funny these two bolts they thought I was asking I wasn't asking After much grinding, this is what we've got to, so you can see what's going on here. All that section's torn. I've had to um, do a bit of extra cutting. This isn't supposed to be doing this. Here's the little uh, piece that goes onto the lever. That's had some penis for lunch, from the looks of things. I've broken it down to its bare bones, so this is the piece that's snapped off there, so I'll um, unstitch that weld that's on the inside there, weld that all up first, 
Then I can do all these cracked areas there. There's another piece that goes off the lever. So somewhere in there, <laughs> oh, this is going to be so much fun, um, is another piece that goes onto here. Obviously the brass, it looks like someone's had an attempt at repairing this um, no MIG welder in sight and they've just brazed everything. This would have been done, you know, back when Jesus was around. Um, so I'll break all these down, part them all and see exactly what goes with what, what has to stay in spot, what has to be realigned, that's not supposed to be bent like that all the welding and then piece it all together hopefully Look, either way it's got to get down to this point to be repaired properly because you can see the brazing has gone in between areas I couldn't quite get in there to clean it all out so that I can start again anyway so here we go This is all done we're working on the backrest so I've added the tube section that was broken off as you can see here and tacked on a few other areas where the um, spot welds had broken through I can't continue any further until I break down the spare seat because I can't see exactly what's going on what's missing what's broken it looks like there's a couple of areas here on this 
um, tube section that are snapped off or broken I'm not too sure as you can see there that doesn't look right but I need to see exactly what sort of shape it needs to be I've got a section missing here so there's supposed to be another half moon half round section there that goes there that's completely missing so I've got to get the exact template to make that up this section has turned out good this one was okay so the whole thing was there just needed a little bit of cleaning up so that's ready to go back on then we've got this section which is part of the lever mechanism and that's no bueno so yeah so what we're going to do I'm just going to break this one down even further this one's the passenger side which doesn't get used as much obviously it's in really good nick so I'm just going to remove these welds so that I can and uh, you know where the where the spot welds are and stuff like that these welds here and then it's got a couple of more welds along there I'll just cut through them and start removing section by section and then I can see exactly what shapes I need to make and then reverse it all and put it all back together wish me luck so after a lot of cutting with the grinder we've got the pieces separated so you can see here where the driver's side has the issue hmm I wonder what it could be can anyone see the pattern emerging? Hmm. There we go, all the pieces are refabricated. Turned out okay, we'll see how strong they are I guess. So there was all these sections here that were missing as you can see, I've put them back in. Uh, it's pretty much the shape that it needs to be. Same with this one, mimics what it's supposed to mimic. Now let's see if I can remember how to put it back together. Hmm. Okay, I'm at the stage of putting everything back together. So I've just put the uh, the bracket for the base that attaches to the base. So this is the base here, that's the backrest. I've just got them leaning on their sides so I can see exactly what's going on because I've basically got to work out what it does as I go. I don't know how these mechanisms work. I do now, but I'll just show you. They're actually pretty funky. So you can see the teeth there, there's a little bit of gears on this base. This base doesn't move. So if you look here, you can see where the actual bottom is slotted. Alright, so what it does, this one's a little bit stiff. I might have to figure out what's causing this to be a bit binded. Anyway, 
this gear here, it's like a little cam. You see, it's like a cam lobe, right? This only goes a certain way. And now, I want to figure out, there it is, there. It only goes like that. So the lever goes into here, you pull the lever, and what it does is it raises and lowers the backrest. You can see the teeth there, so they move a little bit, they engage and disengage. Okay, sorry about that, the battery died. So what I was saying is, see how the teeth move up and down as the cam moves? So that'll engage and disengage on the other teeth that are there. How cool is that? So I've worked it out. Unreal. Now I just got to make them work nice and smooth. Okay, I've had to pull the cam section apart again on the rebuilt one on the driver's side. There's just a little section there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I think the camera captures it. There's a little bump. So I've got to fill that in with weld and then grind it smoother again. It just works a little bit rough and jaggedy and I want it to work as smooth as possible so that it's not too much pressure on the on the lever when you yank on it. You know, I don't want people sort of yanking on it to try and get it to work. I just want it to work nice and smoothly. So I'll fix that up and uh, reshape it. Give it another go. Okay, so we're back on track. Um, I've made the shape of the cam nice and smooth for the driver's side. That works nice and smooth the way it's supposed to now, which I'm really happy with. So I've left that there. I'm putting back together the passenger side, which we had to pull apart to mimic. And now comes one of the other tricky parts. The part now is there's a spring that runs through the inside of this tube, grabs onto the cam, to keep it in place so that the teeth actually stay together and stay locked so that the, um, the backrest doesn't lever itself out of position. I've got to try and grab that, loop it onto the cam, put the cam around the tube and then align this base that goes onto the backrest onto the tube as well. Wish me luck. Not as bad as I thought. We just got a screwdriver levered from the actual coils that come up. So the spring comes up, it's coiled like that, and then it's the little end of it comes up and it's got the, the hook. Just by levering off the actual um, coil parts, that got it all the way up. I was able to fit it through the gap, let it go, boom! It grabbed onto the latch. Good as gold. You know, sometimes you overthink things and you think, ah, it's going to be an impossible task. There you go. Okay, after getting the spring on, there you see the little latch there. The next part is putting this uh, bracket, brace, whatever, which has half the gears on the inside. See there how it's got half the gears? They have to line up. If those teeth don't line up there, let me see if I can zoom in, guys. Hang on a sec. Well, technology, eh? If you um, if you don't mesh those two gears together, what's the use? It's not going to work properly. So that's all based on the alignment of this bracket here. So the alignment of this bracket or brace—I don't know what you would want to call this. Uh, is critical and that goes around that tube here um, which holds the spring it's all joined together so what I did I got this side lined up I've just uh, gapped it uh, just with the filler gauge just a tiny bit just to get a little bit of play in between you don't want it super tight and just you know trying to fight itself so I got a little bit of play there in between uh, the cam and the um, that backing plate and and this 
brace here, gave it a tack there, and now you can see all these clamps doing their job, uh, holding everything in place, and now I'll tack the bar, the round bar of the backrest to that bracket, and that'll all be lined up perfectly, hopefully. Alrighty, passenger side all put back together and working as per normal. Really glad that um, I was able to do that. So it's all done, that one's really good. So now, here, I know exactly what the problem is. Can you guys see what the problem is? See the hole? So it's not lined up. Uh huh. So when I put the little, let me just show you. When I put this little piece in, when I put this little piece in that holds the, um, sorry, that way, that holds the lever, it wasn't lined up. So even though you line up with a hole, these two pieces weren't lined up uh, to the to that pole section to this to work correctly. Now the main reason for that is that this piece here was snapped completely off. So that was completely snapped off, and it was just hanging onto this bit when we pulled everything apart. I thought that that was the alignment there. So obviously I'm wrong, obviously it's a little bit off, so what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to have to cut it, align it, once it's aligned and I can see that everything is as it should be, then weld it back in. So close, but not quite. Okay, so I clearance that little bit on the can, that's all done. I've put it back in, um, I've tacked this front half of the brace and tacked the rest of it. I'm going to give it a full weld now and fingers crossed it works. We got there in the end, it just takes a little bit of patience just to analyse things. I had to learn how these seats worked, you know, the little cam system and everything like that. So there was a lot of times where I didn't film because I was just sitting there and staring at what I was about to take on because I didn't know which way to tackle it and what I had to do. So a lot of study, a lot of analysing and then once you figure it out, you go, oh yeah, and it's only maybe 5 or 10 minutes worth of work. But uh, lots of cleaning, lots of welding, lots of grinding, lots of trial, disassemble, try again, disassemble, find what the fault is, fix it, put it back together, find another fault, fix it, put it back together. Those sections that were missing made such a mess for, for me, you know. If those sections were there, it wouldn't have been so bad, but making pieces up again and not having templates to work with, and it's very hard to create templates with the shapes that were there, uh, it was it was a hell of a mission, but we got there in the end. The seat works. It's rough, but look, once you're in it, in, in its position, it's going to stay there. You know, when his sons drive it or something like that, um, they can change maybe the back and forth, and not so much the backrest, but it's it's locked in. It's in place. You know, 
it's ready for clutch dumps and fast and furious shifts and all that crap. You know what it is. Anyway, on to the next one, guys. Catch ya. What are you reading, bro? Draw the burnout? Yeah, no, 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 no